I think it's the desire to achieve, to break barriers. For me, it's, a, it's of a very personal nature. It's, um, it's very much about um, the desire to achieve and live my life the way I want to live it outside of um, conformity and, and general norms, which makes it um, quite difficult. So you're ambitious? Yes, I think I'm ambitious. But I don't think ambitious comes with um, you know, ease or quiet or anything. It's, uh, it's, it's been uh, quite a, an up and down journey. So why do you think you're this way? It's a very good question. Um, uh, my father travelled here uh, when he left the UK when he was about 18. Um, and uh, arrived here about 19 and, and married my mother. I think he arrived with something like, this is the family folklore. Um, you know, 10 shillings or something. Um, and we moved around a lot growing up um, within New Zealand. And I don't know whether that's part of it. Um, I couldn't wait to get out the door, but I was a late starter. Um, a lot of my, once we left university, friends went off and, and did, or rather actually after school, uh, did their gap year. And I stayed and did the things like bought a house and got a steady job. And then just looked around at the age of, you know, ripe old age of 27 and thought there has to be more than this. And I left and I went to London and, um, and I've only recently come back, if you can say returned. So that's um, showing my age now, at least <laughs> 22 years. There is somebody who pops into to, to my head. Um, it's an aggressive ambition. It's an ambition to, to be the best in their professional um, endeavour. Um, it's frightening to me because it's very, um, um, not only is it aggressive, it's about the accumulation of um, the status quo and things that uh, define their lives. Um, when I say things, I mean um, collections of things um, that I have, a, uh, it's anathema to me. Um, I don't define success uh, by um, status quo and, and fast cars and fabulous houses all around the world. Um, but that very much is um, where this person sees their value. Um, and it's always very odd because I think a lot of those, it's a quite a close friend of mine, and those kinds of um, ambitions um, almost assume um, how they execute themselves in their lives what they do, the kinds of people around them, that, that's obvious. Um, but they achieve a lot more and probably have achieved a lot more than, you know, perhaps I have. So I don't know whether that's, um, whether that's a good or a bad thing, but I think, um, you know, amb ambition certainly creates character. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? Yes. Possibly, and this is probably sounds a bit of a cop-out, but it's not. I think if I didn't have um, my children, uh, you know, I'm, we're tethered to each other and I have a responsibility, which is sometimes um, not curtailed, but made me have to consider what this means. I mean, I've travelled, worked and travelled and lived in um, three different countries, two of which I didn't speak the language. So I think it's... Um, you know, and I, I took my children into those situations and thought, you know, it's fine, you go to the local um, maternelle and you, you'll, you'll go on to the, um, the schools, the local French schools, for example. And um, you don't see at the time how that's all going to play out. And while I probably have um, great children who will sit down with anybody and walk into the room and talk with anybody, it hasn't been without its hardship. So I think um, probably as a parent, if, you know, the curtailing of ambition there is probably a good thing too.